In this video, we're going to be going through the changes and updates to the scheduler. Just a reminder, if you haven't watched our Creating a Job our video that we've released with this feature update as well, please do watch that as we won't be going through uh, many of those aspects in this video. We've kept them uh, nice and short for you to make it nice and easy to watch. So the first thing you'll notice uh, that's very obvious is the great changes we've made to the scheduler here. So across the top here you can see the time slots that even go down into the half an hour. And down the left hand side here you can see if you have any unassigned job visits. And you can see each staff member, how many job visits they have and the time span they're across as well. You also notice as you do scroll down that those top time slots do stay static so you can see exactly each staff member and what timings they correspond to as well. If you are wanting to look at a specific day you can use a calendar there and flick through and choose whatever date you would like to have a look at and you can easily use the arrows on either side to flick between previous or coming days. You can also, if you would like, look at a week view of the schedule as well. Depending on what you would like to view and what's most appropriate to your business, you can control the settings for the scheduler too. So here you can uh, control the hour range. You can also choose to zoom if you like. So if you are doing very small scheduled visits, a great way to pick up all of that information. You can also choose how you, uh, you use the work group filters and also the visit display order and the address format as well. In terms of looking at your schedule here, you can see the relevant information for each job visit you have as well. If you do have a visit you need to reschedule, you can simply drag and drop to the allotted time if need be, or if something's changed, you can simply drag and drop and shorten that visit as well. If you do click on that job, as I have done, you can see all of the other visits come up to the left as well, and that particular job too. If you are wanting to add visits, you can click on that button and add in any additional visits, like we show you in the other video, at um, adding jobs and visits. And you can also edit the job details as well. If you are wanting to do a search for particular jobs to add them into your schedule, you can do that and choose a particular date range if you like. You can also search for specific jobs and you can also filter through by statuses here. And you can also choose to show unscheduled jobs as well for quick and easy reference and also jobs with unassigned visits. We'll just do a search for everything here and bring up a few jobs. We'll show you how easy it is to schedule jobs, schedule visits from uh, the scheduler as well. So if we click on the top job there, you can see this has brought up the job and we can add in visits in two different ways. First off, we can click the add visit button again and go through and add visits uh, as we've done previously in the previous video. Or we could simply drag and drop the allotted time for the allotted staff member. It'll choose and register the currently selected job that you're on and you can save and close that. This of course makes it really nice and easy to schedule multiple visits for that selected job as need be. If you are wanting to look at uh, unscheduled visits as well and have a look through exactly the same process, you can of course again just drag and drop and add in these uh, multiple visits if need be or singular visits if it is just one visit for that job. Or again, you can use that add visit button change the start and end date, the label, add in some visit details, of course use the dynamic search for a particular user, cross-reference through work groups, and save and close or save and add as many as you like as well. You can too when you click on these jobs as well, of course filter through and have a look at the visits uh, in terms of grouping by time, label, and also by staff member as well. This is great if you do have a lot of visits under a particular job. You can group them and have a look at them very easily. And you can also mass edit these visits as well. 
So hopefully you can see from this short video how the scheduler has been updated and we've got a nice great visual tool for you for you to be able to visually represent your jobs and to be able to easily assign and see your workflows in GeoWop.